Hey, it's Andrew here. Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. And uh, here we are back in the uh, starting a new shop series. This is episode four. And the customer earlier has already dropped off their vehicle. It is a Moon. It is a Hinata Moon MK1. And the customer complains of a few parts that we are going to have to figure out what they are ourselves. And yeah. So we're gonna have to go in there, and drain the oil, probably change the oil filter too. Let's just take a little peek, see at it, see what we got. Oh yeah, we've got a few things here I can see that we're probably gonna have to change. Yeah. Probably mostly drivetrain stuff. So let's get started by bringing it into the shop and car lift A. Alright, first things first, we're gonna put her up in the air. And then we gotta go get our handy dandy little oil drain oil catch can when we drain it. With the car lift A. Oh, walked into it. Kinda hurt it a little bit. There we go. While that's draining, let's go look at see if we got any upgrades. We got zero skill points. Alright. Now for this one, we are gonna need, I believe the onboard diagnostic so we're going to purchase that right now which leaves us with $5,700 and I believe that's all we should need for now so let's get to it and let's see does it need an oil change or a new oil filter let's just take a quick little gander here Is this going to tell me anything about any parts that may be needed, may not be needed? This also helps raise the XP. Alright. I'm going to back out of that. And we're going to check to see what do we find. Anything? Alright, we need a cam gear A, I4B. We also need a clutch plate. Anything else? That's ooh, that's all for now. Okay, we'll move this back to where it goes, and we'll lower this down because I'm going to have to take the starter out to get the transmission out to change the clutch plate. That is inside the bell housing here for the transmission. Oh, the stuck bolt. I pop that off. Awesome. Now we can pull this tire. Got a stuck nut, lug nut, or stuck bolt. Uh, brake pads look okay. Probably gonna need a new sway bar. That's for sure. That's for sure. Definitely a new bearing. Okay. Now, uh, may as well remove the sway bar end link here since we're here. And let's walk around to the other side. Pop this tire off. And back down here, taking the CV shaft out. And we're going to pop this wheel bearing out too because it's going to be bad. Awesome. And we've got to pull this sway bar and link out with two stuck nuts. And we've got to also pull out this front drive shaft because I can guarantee you it's going to need to be replaced. And yeah, I guess we can raise it back up into the air, pull off the transmission, and we take out that sway bar. You know what? Uh, uh, we'll wait till after the next purchase and we'll buy the computer for or the uh, tablet so we can order our parts. Alright, now we can pull off the transmission. Probably gonna need some bushings just by looking at them. Oh, might also need a flywheel too. Yeah, 
Yeah, flywheel looks toast. Okay, now let's see, have we gotten anything? Cam gear, we already knew. Clutch plate, we already knew. Flywheel, front drive shaft, like I said. Front sway bar, wheel hub bearing. Okay. Now, what? Oh, wait, we didn't need the CV shaft, so now what we'll do is we'll run over here to the computer. We'll go into car parts, suspension. Oh, wait, front drive shaft, which is right here. We'll get one of them. We need a front sway bar. And then we also need to go down this way. We need a clutch plate. Oh, well, I need one. We need the flywheel. And I'm missing something, aren't I? Let's just double check here. We got that, we got that, we got that, and we also need the wheel hub bearings. Awesome. Which is back in the suspension all the way down at the end. And we're probably going to have to change the rear wheel hub bearings too, but we'll wait for that when it happens. Alright. So, over to here. Put the flywheel on first. Then the clutch plate. Then the pressure plate. And 69%. You guys gonna have to get a new one here soon. And release bearing. The transmission. And then the front drive shaft. Now since we're here, we might as well put the sway bar on. Awesome. Eh, may as well put the sway bar and links back on too, right? Now, I don't really want to fully put everything back together on it because I have a feeling I'm going to have to pull it out. No, I shouldn't have to. The crankshaft, look, from the, what I saw, it looked like it was okay. And we've got one that's 72% and 70%. I always put the lower one on the driver's side and the higher one on the passenger side because, well... Most people just aren't that observant. And they only really look at the driver's side of the vehicle. Alright, now we're going to drop this back down. Put the starter in it. Give it a compression chest. I won't be able to do nothing until, actually, until I put oil on it. Because it will yell at me. No oil in the engine. Watch, I'll show you. Like so. Oh, it did do it. Yeah. That's never good. Cranking over with no oil in it. Piston with connecting rod. Piston with connecting rod. Camshaft I4B. Okay, so I'm going to have to pull the whole head off. Oh, wrong one. We'll go back into here. We'll run the OBD scanner on it and see what else we need to replace. Ignition coil, ignition coil, spark plug, spark plug. Alright, well, let's get started on taking all this out. Take this off. And let's do two coils in the center that need to be replaced, guaranteed. This one. And this one. Now if we check the inventory. Yep, sweet, both coils. I already figured it out. And it's probably gonna require both of these spark plugs right here to be replaced. The two in the center. Just by looking at the coils. Let's go take a peek see. Yep, see. We're getting good at this. Spray the bolt, get her out. 
Oh yeah, we can definitely see what camshaft needs to be replaced. Cam gear as well. Now all this has to come off just to get... Oh, turbo? Yeah. Now we do the intake or the exhaust manifold. And now we can work around the front of the motor. Take the idler A off. The belt. Crankshaft pulley. Timing cover A. We already took B off. That's on the back side of the motor. Got stuck bolt. That's a cam gear. Oh, on the back side. Duh. Crazy me. Alright. Now we take the belt off. And we take out this idler. Take off this pulley. Or cam gear, I should say. This motor is an I4B. Good solid little motors, that's for sure. And if I had to guess, we're probably going to also need a fan hosing, maybe? Maybe? And there's eight cam caps. Luckily, we don't have to change them. Ooh, touchy touchy tonight. We'll take this one off. Two more. We take the camshafts and the plugs out, and we pull the head off. And we should be able to determine by looking at it which pistons need to be replaced. If I had to guess, it's going to be the two in the center. There's the bad camshaft off. Remember, it goes closer to the firewall. And we've got to take out the two plugs, which I'm probably going to replace all the plugs and just buy the two coils that need to be replaced. All right. Yep, these two right here. Boom, boom, right in the center. Okay, now we put it back up into the air. Now, let's see if I can remember everything needs to be uh, replaced. Oh, that's the wrong cam gear, it's this one. Actually, let's make sure we've got no other parts that need to be replaced. Commission closing this call, spark plug. System connecting rod, timing chain. Aha, timing chain. Okay, the one on the back side. Alright. And then we go. Oh, wait, we need a camshaft. Where is it? I4B right here. And then we need. We don't need any cam caps. Uh, so I'm going to scroll through here. Let's take Pixie, just a gander. I never did check the fuel pump or fuel filter. Uh, buy two piston rings. We need two piston with connecting rods. Uh, and we buy two new rod caps. And then we also need a timing chain which is this one, it's a little circular one. Normally it needs this one here, timing belt I4SOHC, or for this motor, it would be timing belt A I4B. Yeah, a little complicating at times, but it is what it is. And it's actually a serpentine belt. And uh, pretty sure that's about it for here. Perfect. Now we'll back out of here. Over the electronics. Went right past the coils because they're right here. We need two of them. And we need four plugs. Whoa, getting a little crazy here. Awesome. 
Now we're going to go under the motor. Should have did this first. Actually, it looks like it needs three caps. And three crank shaft caps. Oh, why didn't tell me that? I guess it's not really censored. Now let's just check just to make sure. Yep, crankshaft bearing caps. Yep, two rod caps. So if we take this one off, it's going to be three rod caps we need. And there it is right there. Okay, everything else looks like it's ready to rock and roll. Now what we'll do is we'll lower the motor down. Or lower, lower the car down, I should say. Jump back on our trusty handy dandy computer, go back over to car parts, engine, and let's we'll quickly scroll through here. Oh, right there. We need three crankshaft bearing caps. And we'll go over to the rod caps. We need another one of these. Awesome. Now we'll click on the motor. We'll yank out this piston that piston and we'll start installing we'll put everything back together on the top side of the motor and the piston rings weren't too bad which is surprising and now we can put the head on and, and remember the bad camshaft or the, the good one the new one goes to the back side of the motor this one goes to the front and what we'll do is now we'll start and putting the cam caps on Our plugs in line with the cam caps, and as we'll do it all together in one shot. It's a little tricky to do this with the motor inside the car. done with the top side of the motor bottom cam cap or front side cam cap and last set put the plug in the last cam cap put the rocker or put the valve cover back on on this one I guess would be the head cover and now on because of this one we have to put in our new new coils we've got to put them in the center and we'll put the next best one in number one and we'll put the last one right here perfect now we'll switch around go to cam timing uh, cam gear A I4B the timing chain cam gear B and then we're going to put timing cover B on here awesome now we'll put all these injectors back in which in my opinion they shouldn't have the silhouette of the intake manifold until all these are back in but it is what it is now we put the intake manifold. Then we put the throttle body, V6B. Mm, fuel injection looks, or the fuel fuel filter looks good. So is the fuel pump. Okay, now we work around to the front side of the motor. Awesome. Put the cam gear back on. Idler A, the belt, belt tensioner, and the cover. 
And assembly is literally the reversal of the removal. Alright, now we put a cam gear on. Or the crank pulley, I should say. Wow, cam gear. And put the last idler A on. Alright, now we work our way back to the very back side of the motor. And we can put the exhaust manifold, oh, the exhaust manifold back on. And now we put the turb ski on. Beautiful. I think we're all done now. Let's see what else we got. I gotta do the bottom side of the motor. Yeah. And we got a few parts here that are not still not discovered. So that's okay. We'll put the car back up in the air. Take a quick little gander back here. Looks like we've got a sway bar back here. It needs to be changed. Got a bushing here, it needs to be changed. Probably the same on the other side. Yeah, they're looking kind of cruddy. And then uh, that's three. And we've probably got all four bushings here. So how many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've probably got a couple other bushings that and stuff like that that we're going to have to replace. And probably also the air filter. The motor's looking like this. She's probably, you know, blowing some good stuff through that air, air cleaner. Which. Probably getting a bit of blue by, that's for sure. Alright. First cam cap in. Put that dude camshaft back in. Actually we're probably not going to have to change that uh, fan looking at it from down here. And put the oil pan on, all four bolts. Alright. Now I'm wondering, oh wrong thing, if we can do this. Of course we can. Now let's just take a quick little gander back here. We'll do the same thing. Way bar, yep. Yeah. And then we'll do the rear suspension on both sides. Awesome. I see what I mean is it will help level up. Okay, now we're going to go to the front and check out this cross member, see if it can tell us anything. Nope. Maybe as well do the rest on this side too. And what about this side? Where did that? It's all mustardy. <laughs> okay, now what we'll do is we'll put the wheel back on on the front here. No more stuffed wheel nuts, the wheel bolts. Yeah. And while we're here, we're going to pull out these bushings. Yeah, they're all looking kind of crudy. And the last one is on this side. And if we go and check the what needs to be fixed list, it should say rubber bushings, all four. Awesome. But we're still missing a few other parts there that need to be replaced. So, but now, for us to take the sway bar off.
we need to pull the wheels off. We've got to get to these right here. Rear sway bar and links. I'm not sure if these bushings look bad or not. I know these ones are. That's six bushings. That's going to have to be replaced. And we're going to pull this tire off. Probably also needs the bearings change too. Maybe not. gander at these normally when you start seeing rusted bolts and normally that don't mean they're too healthy and we need two other parts that aren't discovered if I had to take a gander probably this bushing too And this bushing. Yep. Awesome. So let's see what sway bar it is. Uh, and it's not going to tell me. Oh, yeah, rear sway bar A. And eight bushings. We'll go over here to suspension. Rear sway bar A, right here, and we need eight bushings. Now is that it? Got the bushings, got the sway bar, awesome. So we'll start in the front. There's one bushing, two bushing. Must be surprised there's no air filter that needs to be changed. Scroll back, come all the way back here, put the sway bar in. Put this bushing in. Put the end link in. Awesome. Put Z tire on. Like I said, always put the higher percentage on the passenger side, which is about the same. Tells me the car's got a good alignment to it. And we'll quickly scoot over to the other side. I still gotta put the three bushings in. Yep, so we'll put this tire on and then we'll put the bushings in. And we should be done. Well, after I put oil in it, of course. I'm probably going to have to change the fluids to it. Got all the bushings in? No, I do not. We needed 10 bushings. Oops. My bad. I forgot about these suspension arms. Hop back up under here. driver side in, passenger side, check the, check the list, I just got to put oil in it and we are done. So lower the car back down, beautiful, it needs a paint, it needs a wash that's for sure. Pop the cap off and fill up the oil. Chug, 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 chug. Awesome. 
check your dipstick, gotta find you here. Mr. Dipstick, where are you? Huh. There it is, way down there. Alright, the max line, perfect. And I believe we are done. Yes, we are. Awesome. We'll shut the hood down, put this back outside. Car garage entrance A. And let's check and see if the thing will start. Sounds pretty good actually, nice and quiet. Now we just gotta let the customer know and then they can come pick it up. But while I have everybody here, let's check this, see what we got in here to uh, upgrade. Ooh, look at that, we got two skill points. Two skill points. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is put one here. Oh, that helps us examine the parts. I don't need that yet because I don't have the back part opened up. So we'll do the running, make them faster. But that should be it. That should be all. I'd like to thank you all for watching episode 4 of starting a new shop. And hopefully soon we can get this bus out of here. I'd love to repair it, but you know, it won't allow us. And uh, I hope I can catch you all in the next one. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It'll help it grow. It'll help me do better videos. And once again, thank you very much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.